And it's almost time for the third annual golf scramble for the Chloe Randolph organization. Christy Randolph has the details. That's just one of the many things you've got going on, girl. That's right. Lots of stuff happening. Now, do you still need teams? Where, where are we with the scramble? We have about 25 foursomes. Wow. Um, you can still register for foursomes, but unfortunately, any type of sponsorships uh, due to signage and stuff, we have closed that. Right, because you've got to get those right. made. Where are you going to have the scramble? Uh, the Henderson Country Club. Lovely spot, lovely yeah. spot. What time does everything start? Uh, 10.30 uh, check-in registration, 11 o'clock lunch, uh, Acropolis, and 12, we're going to golf. And golf and golf. Now, do you have other, like, auction items or other things that day? We're going to have um, silent auction items. We're going to um, do different games, um, half pot, mulligans. Um, we're going to have EPD there, HPD, doing games, and we're going to have a great time. Lots of fun for That's everybody. Right. And it's going to be cool. 80 degrees. Listen, who would have ever guessed that 80 degrees sounded cool, but after all of this, that will be like fall weather for sure. Right. So good. You struggled through some rough weather on this event in the past, haven't you? First year it was um, blowing wind and rain at 45 degrees. Last year was 105. And, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, actually, I was determined that we're, we're eventually going to play in the snow because I'm a snow lover. Well, okay. That would be fun and different. That would <laughs> be would. unique, right? Would. So what's up next for the fundraisers? Um, after the golf scramble, uh, we go into September where we're going to do an open house for the Chloe Randolph organization's new location. And then we have in October uh, a 5K run walk. And then I need to back up a minute. I forgot September 23rd we have uh, the uh, Save a Victim Ride a Hog Poker Run for Domestic Violence. <laughs> I like the uh, name of that. <laughs> on the road to Domestic Violence Month. And then also in October we have Candles of Hope Ceremony, which is to honor victims and survivors of domestic violence and our keynote speaker is um, Jason White from Tulsa Homicide for the first for, um, 48 hours on A&E, and we're really excited about that. Well, that's really a big deal. Yeah. So uh, people probably aren't writing all of this down, so right. where can they go to see your calendar and, and kind of plug in? Uh, they can go to our Facebook page, the Chloe Randolph Organization, but also on our website, thechloerandolph.org. And your mission is, Christy? for all victims and survivors of domestic violence to know that they have a voice and that they matter and they're never alone. And how do you come alongside those families and individuals who need that kind of support? Um, we're with them from the very beginning. Once they reach out to us and they're needing support, we're there from day one, whether it's just to talk with them and show them what the red flags and signs are of domestic violence, to making them realize that, hey, maybe you have an issue and we need to get you out of your situation, then through the EPO process, through courts, and then even afterwards, because a lot of victims will go back to their situation because they don't have support. They don't have family or friends that believe that there's a situation. And we're there from the start, the middle, and the end, and even afterwards for maintenance. Uh, can we volunteer? Can we, how can we support you besides your events? Oh, we love volunteers. Uh, we also do Ford Center events. We have uh, Luke Bryan tonight, but we always need volunteers in the office, our new location, uh, events, and even paperwork. Oh yeah, I bet there's a lot yeah. of that. Where is your new location? It is 327 Washington Street, directly across from the fire department. It's the house. We have the entire house. Uh, it's a bigger location is what we need it. And we have some other things we're going to do the upstairs. All right, she's trying to pick paint colors right now. That's right. <laughs> it's a full-time job. This is the third yeah. one. Yeah. You'll get it right. I, I feel will. you will. I will. Christy, thank you so much. Well, thank you. Always good to see you. You as well. We'll be back with more Lifestyles right after this. Stick around.